Welcome back, Life With Us TV, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Today, we're gonna talk about 10 things you must do immediately, immediately after you board your Carnival Cruise. Let's go ahead and get into it. Number one, make all of your dining reservations. If you have not pre-purchased any of the specialty dining or whatnot, and you're still interested, go ahead and see if you can do that immediately once you get on board. Also, if you wanna do any of the spa treatments or anything yeah. like that, go ahead and do that as well. Let me go ahead and give you a little tip. If you wanna go to the spa for real, for real, and don't wanna break the bank, go on the port days. Yeah. They slash the prices because everybody is in port. So if you don't wanna get off the ship anyway, or you wanna get back earlier, just go ahead and book your spa treatment then. It'll save you some money. Second thing that you need to immediately do is go ahead and purchase the chat app. It's only five bucks, and what is that good for? It's actually good so if you with your husband or wife or you got a group of people, you guys can stay in contact with each other while you're on the ship. So like, say for instance, you down on the Lido deck and they in the dining room, like, hey, I'm in the dining room. Hey, I'm back in the Lido so you guys where can- Where are you? <laughs> well, yeah, where are you? So you guys can stay in contact. It's almost like having text messaging while you're, while you're on land. So we say go ahead and oh, take yeah. it. Yeah, so go ahead and take advantage of that. Like I said, it's only $5 for the duration of your cruise. That's very important yes. for the duration. And also you do not have to have a Wi-Fi package yes. for the chat feature to work. So that's very good too. If you, All you wanna do is be in contact with the people that's on the sailing with you. Boom, easy $5. Number three. While you're on board, just go ahead and tour the ship, like walk around, get yes. your footing, see where everything is going to be, especially on Carnival, because getting to their dining room sometimes can be a little tricky because sometimes you just can't walk all the way through. Sometimes you gotta walk down, yep. go around, go up. So just get your footing and learn the ship, at least those places that you know you're going to frequent. All right, the fourth thing you need to immediately do when you get on board, and we've said this in multiple videos that you need to put your phone on airplane mode. Absolutely. Because if you have phone service that have roaming charges, when you get off the ship, you're gonna be like, I got this, this high A bill that I got to pay because I didn't you put my phone on. You try to dispute it. Yeah. Like, no. but, but the good thing, the Carnival Hub app, actually when you go to check in, it'll, and tell, you. it'll tell you at the bottom to go ahead and do that. So it's kind of like a reminder if you, know, if you scroll down and see it. Number five, if you've been traveling all day, it's a good thing to just go ahead and change out of those travel clothes. Get into your leisure clothes, like yeah, get into man. the vacation vibes and whatnot. Go ahead and do that. It'll just change your entire mood. In a previous video, I had stated the importance of preparing your day by packing everything you will need for that day in your carry-on luggage. So this will be a time where you will pull out your swimwear. If that's something that you're into, you want to swim on um, embarkation day. A lot of people do. I personally, I can wait. <laughs> yeah. But most people want to get in the pool. They like being in the pool and doing the sail away party and whatnot. So if that's something you like to do, pack that in, change into it, have you a good time. The sixth thing you want to immediately do is eat lunch, man. Because I know by the time you done came from traveling from where you are, mm -hmm. you going to be hungry. In them so what's going to be available to you is going to be the buffet, of course, guys burgers, the blue iguana, guys um, barbecue grill is yeah. going to be available. So yeah, definitely take advantage of it and get something to eat, especially before the sail away party because yes. it's going to be time to party. Or if you're the type of person that you can't, you know, if you drink and you and you put alcohol in your stomach before you eat, we, we ain't got time to get sick before <laughs> the boat leave, man. So yeah. make sure you go ahead and get you something to eat. Man. Absolutely. All right, man, if you're enjoying these tips, go ahead and smash that like button so other first-time cruisers, man, can get these tips as well so they can have a freaking amazing cruise just like you are. The seventh thing you must do immediately once you get on board, listen, this can get a little tricky because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But if you get on board and your cabin isn't quite ready yet, sometimes they will allow you to walk the hall and grab your sale and sign card out of the mail slot on yes. your door. I love to have my, it's almost like I feel like my credit card <laughs> is outside <laughs> for anybody to grab because essentially that's kind of how it is. It's your onboard account. So if you can get to your cabin and get your sale and sign card, please do that. But if you can't, it's, it's not gonna be a big deal. But yeah, go ahead and do that. Do that. <laughs> And if your cabin is available, just go ahead and check it out. Make sure the accommodations are good. 
that it's cleaned. I mean, they're doing a turnover really quickly on those cabinets. And I'm not saying that they don't clean thoroughly, but what I am saying is <laughs> check behind, make sure that everything is to your liking. And if you have an issue with anything, just tell your cabin steward. They will be glad yes. to try to assist you. And if you're not good or quite happy with the cabin, then maybe that's something that can be done as well. But make sure that on embarkation day, you make your request known. The eighth thing you wanna immediately do, and I know you can't do this until after you um, able to check into your cabin, mm -hmm. is that once you're in, you wanna go ahead and secure all of your important documents as far as like your birth money. certificates, your money, your license. Go ahead and go ahead and put that stuff in the safe so that way you don't have to walk around the ship with that stuff and then you know that stuff was back secure in right. your cabin. So yes, please do that immediately. The ninth thing that you want to do right now, and we hope that they continue to keep it this way, is attend the e muster. So yes. that you can get it into a quiet space where you're able to concentrate, listen to the safety briefing. Go ahead and listen to it, attest to it. Then show up at your muster station so that they can mark you off. Yes. Do that immediately, especially now. It's easy. I have, yes. I have zero tolerance. <laughs> I love it, man. <laughs> yeah, I have zero tolerance for them having to announce such and such you need to attend. It's so easy now. Why wouldn't anybody right. <laughs> attend the muster drill? Just don't be that guy or girl holding the ship up because you didn't do it. That part. And number 10, man. Make sure you go ahead and find you a good spot for the sail away party because at that point it, it's, time, it's time to dance and jam because we getting ready to pull out the yeah. port, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's so exciting. It's a yeah, good time. It is. Yeah, it's a great time, man. All right, if you enjoyed this video, you want to check out this video of 13 things you cannot forget to do one week before your cruise and we're going to catch you in the next video. Peace.